So hey guys, it's Larry. Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be part two for the Rainbow Loom Glove. And if you follow it along uh, for the past week, you know, we did the first part here and then we added to it as we went along. So we got four fingers built. Now what I'm going to focus on today is extending out the fingers a little bit. So if I put my hand on here and just kind of find where the, you know, where the you know the, the the finger fold is you know you see that my pinky finger is pretty good my ring finger is yeah I think the ring finger is okay but you can tell let me slide this over here a little bit that the middle finger is a little bit too short and the index finger you know I could probably get away with the index finger but the ring finger I want to add you know three more sections or not, sorry, the middle finger. I want to add three more sections to just to make it a little bit longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our loom. Got to make it the right way though. Okay, so we want to add three more to the middle finger, which is going to be that one right there. So keeping with the same configuration, we're just going to add three more sections. And remember, we do this building it away. Just like so. We'll put a couple teal in here. And remember, this is just adding to the fingers. See, the good thing about this bracelet is, you know, you can build it with one loom and you can add to it. You could subtract to it. As long as you hold on to things, then it's not going to come apart. Then we flip our loom around, just like you would normally do. Okay, so now, we got to pull this piece off here. And this is what's holding everything together. And then we're going to put our gray on there. Oop. Almost lost it. So I lost that part. So we'll put it back on there. Okay. So now the easy part, you know, when you get the two or the three on, so then we need to figure out, you know, how we're going to build this part of it. So what we're going to do is we'll do it one at a time, where we'll hook this and then we'll keep a hold of it with one. Or our wand, our hook. Gee, you can tell I'm tired tonight, guys. Been a long day at work, so. Alright. So, we'll hook that up there. And then we have to take this one over to the outside. So, we'll hold on to that. We'll get in there and hook the top of the white here. 
hook that around like so. Oop. Came off. I gotta do lefty. Now let me just make sure I got the right one. Okay. Yep, got that. But, what do you see in here? So in the process of doing that, I lost this one. So what I need to do is I need to unhook this. I need to get it through here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull that through here. So this. So what I got to do. Is I have to go through this. Then this. Then this. Then I need to hook this. Then you go through there, there, and there. Catch it, I almost lost it. Okay. So now, that's back together the way it should. So what happened is this one, this gray band here, was actually not within those there. So, then once you get that, you know, we're just adding some extra. Filter that side on. Sorry, you may hear a guinea pig there. He's a talker. So, go, go. He's all excited now. Okay, and then we're just going to hook these back up. Alright, so that's just a short video on how to add length to your fingers. And we'll put that on there. We'll put this on here. And then what I'm going to do is get this gray hooked back up here like we had before. Remember, I rotate it, pull it under. And then once it's out from under it, we just pull it in there and do the slip knot. Use your, use your hook to get that off of there. There we go. And then we just added a little bit of length to the finger. So now, you notice that that finger is just a little bit longer than the rest. So, and these fingers, I think, will be just fine. So, you just added a couple more to make that finger a little bit longer. Alright, so now, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about... You know, I don't know if you've gone ahead and done both sides of the glove, but, you know, I was hoping that you would just do the one side. But if you've gone ahead, that's okay. It's no big problem. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to continue making this and then splicing it, you know, from where you're going. And you can do it from either side. 
but since we've been working from the, you know, we started with the, the pinky, and then, you know, I went this way. So what I'm going to do is I want to go from the pinky to go around because we're going to tie the thumb in differently. So since this one is our pinky, then what we're going to do is we're going to completely tie this all the way up. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to figure out how this is configured up here. You're going to need those. Let's pull this around here and see where everything's going. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that's your last one right up there. Sorry, I'm out of view here. But basically, you're going to set up your looms. And instead of tying in until you get to the joint, you're going to build another section, but you're going to tie the entire piece together. Okay, so I'm going to set up the loom, and remember, I'm only going to do one for this. So I'll shoot it once with one loom, attach it, add more, attach it, add more, and attach it. And then we'll roll it over, and then I'll add in a couple looms to show you how much easier it is. So, hang tight. Now I'm going to load up the loom, and I'll get back with you. Okay, so we're back, and we got everything loaded up. So we're going to go ahead and tie it all together. Remember, starting on the side that we have the stuff on. Remember, that first one is going to be really loose. It's not going to tighten up until you get them over, so make sure you hold them down. And once you get to the second one, it should hold everything on. Remember, this is just one loom. But, you know, the good thing about one loom is that you're only doing little sections at a time. So if you mess up, then it's easily fixable. Now remember, you know, I'm doing this at an angle because of the fact that I have the camera right in front of my face. So, oops, sorry if I just made a big crash on it too. But, you know, you can just do it straight out in front of you. You don't have to hold it all sideways and everything. This is just so you guys can see it. Remember, hold down that second one. We have some new stuff coming. I don't know if you guys watch this or just fast forward through it, but we got some really cool new stuff coming on the way. Can't wait to show you guys, but it's kind of a secret right now. We're working on it. It's in development. Okay. Pull those over. Get you a looping band here. There's one that's a waste that you can toss away. I don't even think this one's strong enough to do that. No, we'll just stick with the grays. Give it a quick slip. Pull that off. There's part one. Oh, there's a the second one. So remember. Now you got this one here that's encompassing four rows because you got the two rows here and then these two rows that you just added. So we're going to load the loom back up again. We're going to add another section. Go flip it around. Keep the same configuration so we're going green on the out and glow in the dark in the middle. So 
So there's no sense in you guys watching all this. Just a refresher. You've probably done it a bunch of times now. But you point the arrows away from you. You know, I'm not pointing the arrows away from you because if I do, you won't be able to see it all. And there's one row. We'll go ahead and do the outer row here. And just so you guys know, I ended up picking up another pack of Rainbow Loom Rubber Bands. This is the old version. You know, new, longer lasting, latex free rubber bands. 600 with C clips. But they've actually got they've changed the bands a little bit they're a little thicker it's different material that they're making them out of so and actually i bought this pack today too which is for the new project that we're going to be working on but you guys will see that soon maybe by the weekend we'll have it done we'll see we're, we're having a little uh a little trick that we're trying to pull off on this new one that you guys will all love. Okay, there's that. And we'll do our center glow in the dark. My cat's over there arguing. It's been an animal night. You've heard the guinea pig and the cats. We have a kitten that's full of energy, and we have an old cat that doesn't want to do nothing but laying around. And the young cat just drives the old cat crazy. So, now, when we get to that point, we're going to pull this back apart here. Going ahead and adding everything back to the loom, both sides. Okay. Oh, did we miss a piece? Let's see here. I think we did. We had this piece sneak out here. So, you don't see that, but see where that gray is coming out? So that gray actually snuck out of there. It should be around this. So, what we can do... Let's pull that off of there. Hook that around. Hook that back up. There you go. Now we're back to where we should be. And it's just, you know, it's just in sticking with it, you know. When you get as much practice, then you'll know where these pieces need to go. So. Okay. So remember, we always do the outside first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one band off. We're going to hook this outer band. Let's see. Make sure there's no twist in it. So that band's on. And then, of course, this band over here, 
is going to be this one. And then, you know, when you're splicing these like this, it may be, you know, a good idea that if you have a friend or something that you're making this with, to give you an extra set of hands. Uh, just to hold on things while you splice it. You know, that's again, you're using the one loom, you might be stuck with that option. If you're using, you know, multiple looms, then you would just, you know, run the whole thing down. You know, you would build it. And then just connect everything down. And then you don't have to mess with all this splicing and everything. But I just wanted to show you that, again, this can be done with one loom. If you only have one loom, you can make this glove. It's just going to take you a lot longer to do it with one loom than it would if two, if you had two, or if you had three. You know, if you have a smaller hand, two looms would be great. You know, we built the original glove on two looms. With this one, since I'm making it for my hand, which is bigger, we're using three sections. And then in that middle finger, it's even more because of the fact that we added a couple more fingers. So, all right, so you got that side on. I'm going to go ahead and put the other side. Put the other pieces on here. Remember, we're taking the pieces straight from the glove. Just make sure when you're doing this, of course, that you don't miss a section. And you also want to make sure that when you pull in, that you don't pull the other side off. So. Where is it? Cut it there. There we go. Sometimes if you loosen up the tension you can catch those other bands right, going to the end there so we've got it all hooked up we've got it hooked up down here splice is done let me get these spare bands out of the way Hope you don't hook any other pieces too. section remember hold that loom hold those pieces on there so you don't pull them off I'm blocking a lot of the light and I'm really not paying much of attention oh looky there see what I just did Let's put this back on. I will just fell apart here. So let's do this. So, you know, a lot of people have asked me what I do when we have a mistake. We 
do is we fix it. And that there. Pull that around. Hook that back on top. And that other one. Put it back on there. And that one. Put it back on there. Just keep going. There you go. Easy as pie. side off okay. and we've added another section make sure it all looks okay Next, we got the finger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, and we got plenty enough to finish up this. So, remember, what we're doing now is this is going to be the turn in the glove. So, basically, what you're going to see is this. And then this is going to turn around to the other end. Okay. I may even add, no, I'm going to leave it the way it is. So that'll add three sections onto this glove. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to load up the loom one more time and I'll get back with you. Or actually, you know what? You've already seen enough. You know, it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to add these. We're going to put that back on the loom and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay guys, so we got the last finger hooked up, and we're going to start hooking all this through. So when I was uh, putting this together, I made a made a big mistake of course I didn't film it because I didn't have the camera sitting anywhere near me but uh, I ended up accidentally letting go of the piece when I was splicing it in and it flew back about four bands and I had to hand stitch those four bands back together so but it's just you know it's a slow process because you gotta do it one piece at a time nothing was on the loom but it can be done you know, I've had people ask me if you could do these without a loom. Could you? Probably. Would I? <laughs> Absolutely not. It'd take forever. So, doing this takes forever. Well, it doesn't take forever, but it takes a long time. It makes a really cool rainbow loom project. So, and it gives you something to work on that you can take a break at any time. here with the loom get your hook out make sure 
sure it's all good. Take a look on the back side also, just in case. But of course, you know, if something's messed up on one side or the other, you can always hide it. If it's on the inside of the glove. Okay. Pull that rubber band out there, tighten her up. Okay, so that pinky finger is now twice as wide. Yep, see? And ultimately what you're going to do is this is going to get folded over and continue around. So the next step is you're going to make, you know, for, for most pinkies that should be enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add two sections to this pinky. Eh, maybe not. We'll add two sections on this side. I'm just trying to think of you know, ultimately how big it will be. Yeah, we should be fine. I'm just kind of sizing it up for you know the rest of the glove. So, what we're going to do now from this point forward is we're going to continue with the same basic principle that we've done in part one, but we're going to continue building off of this side, off to this side here, and the next step is going to be to recreate the ring finger, because remember now this glove is folding around our hand, so we're going to do the back side of it. Now this is the top side, or the bottom, bottom side, whatever you've done, it doesn't really make a difference. But we're going to continue the same patterning, you know, keep alternating your, your colors. And we're basically going to make a recreation of this part here. Just going to continue it this way, and then it'll eventually fold right over. So, you guys continue on with that. And I will, you know, give you, a, give you another few days, maybe the weekend. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get this, uh, you know, done by the weekend so you have something to work on over the weekend but uh, you know good luck continue on don't give up on it you know there's your pinky and then it's gonna fold around and we add to the inside some more pieces so we will uh, we'll get back with you soon and I hope this helps everybody if you have any questions or comments of course leave them down in the bottom and I'll answer you know I check it daily and uh, I'll get back with you soon take care